Hey guys, welcome back to the Project DIY channel. On today's project, we're going to install an Android stereo on a 2016 Camry. Let's get started. Now you guys may have just recently watched a video where I installed um, an Apple CarPlay module in my 2016 Camry. Now today, thanks to a company named Road Anvi, I'm going to be installing a whole stereo in place of this one and uh, this is an Android radio and we'll be able to use CarPlay on it and it'll be a, a upgrade from this one. This screen is very small and it's hard to use CarPlay on it. So I think this is going to be a big upgrade so let's go get this unboxed. The Rode Anvi in-car entertainment system. This is a model HB4. Now this particular uh, Road Envy unit was built specifically for a 2015 to 2017 Camry. So this will fit in my 2016 just fine. All right, opening the box here. First thing we see is a user's manual. It does have pictures in it. It also comes with an installation guide. Gives you all the pictures on how to remove your dash in your car, how to remove the old radio, and it also tells you uh, where to plug everything in. Very nice install manual. Also on the back it gives you uh, directions on how to connect your devices, either your Android Auto or your iPhone. Also in the box, we have some cables and this is labeled power cable and this has all of the cables that will allow you to connect power to the radio also has an accessory cable pack and this has all the cables in it that will allow you to connect your radio to your accessories uh, like your USB ports um, maybe your camera the camera may be in the other package I'm not sure but Possibly the camera, also your uh, steering wheel buttons, and this will allow you also to hook your antenna up. I think the only thing left is the radio. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I cannot. I'm going to set you down for a second. All right, got that out. Let's go ahead and take the radio out of the side pieces and remove the plastic cover. And right off the bat, this seems to be very well made. Looks like the uh, colors will match the interior very well. And also, this thing is packaged really good. You can see these, this styrofoam that was holding the radio in the box. And also, it has the obligatory plastic on the screen. Keep you from getting scratches. So we're going to leave that on until after we get it installed. And here's the back side. Some wiring diagrams and information on top. All right, let's head out to the car and get this put in. Okay, first step is we're gonna remove this panel up on top, pry up on one side with your spudging tool. Pull up on it, set it off to the side. Next, we're gonna come down here to the bottom. We're gonna pry up on this pocket here at the bottom. Remove that, and that's going to expose some screws for us. So we're going to take these screws out, and then we're going to take this uh, center console out, get it out of the way. Then we'll take this pocket out, get it out of the way, and then there will be two screws on the bottom, two screws on the top. Those are 10 millimeters. Take those out and unplug the radio and just pull it out. All right, next thing we're going to do is remove these two screws. And the next thing we're going to do after that is we're going to take this handle loose from the shifter underneath. Now this thing is a little difficult. When you try to unscrew this, it wants to unscrew the hole, it wants to turn the boot and everything. So you have to hold the boot and unscrew the handle. All right, before we unscrew the shifter, we're going to put the car in neutral. To do that, we're going to put the key in the ignition. 
We're going to turn it two clicks. It's going to give you some lights on the dash. The car should not be running. And before you put it in neutral, make sure you set your parking brake. Make sure you do that. You don't want to roll. Holding down the brake pedal, we're going to grab the shifter. We're going to shift to neutral. The end should be lit up green. And what that's going to do is that's going to get your shifter out of the way so that you can get this panel off. And once you have that loose, we're going to grab a hold of the panel, pull up on each side, pull it loose. Then we're going to take our spudging tool, put it in behind this piece of trim over here on the side, pop that out. Same thing over here. All right, once you have that unpopped, just grab it, pick straight up, and there will be a plug down here at the bottom. Yeah, that for sure takes two hands, and you'll see on the bottom of this connector. Down here is a little tab that you push down that lets you take this connector out. And once you have that done, we can take our center console, set it out of the way. All right, next the pocket has to come out and there's four screws, one here, one here, one here, one here. These two screws at the bottom do not have to come out. Only these four above those. Now once you have those out, just grab a hold of the pocket, pull out on it, and it will pop out. Have a couple of plugs on the bottom. Again, we have the little tab you push down, pull out. This one has the same type of tab as the other one. These are a little bit difficult to get out, but there you go. Once you have those out, you can set your tray off to the side. Right, next, we have two 10 millimeter screws on the bottom, two 10 millimeter screws on the top. And once we've got that done, we can put the car back in park, push the brake pedal in, push up till it goes in park, turn the key off. All right, next, we're gonna grab this at the top, pull out on it. Now this is a view from the top of the back of the radio. And there are one, two, three, four, five plugs that hold this in. You also have your antenna down here. That's actually the sixth plug. Pull that out. And once you have those unplugged, flip your radio upside down. And in the back is a plug for your climate controls. Push down on the tab. Pull out. You should just be left with a couple of wiring harnesses hanging out. And one thing the manual does not cover really at all is what to do with your climate controls. Now here's how I am putting mine in. Since it doesn't say, I guess you're left to your own devices, but here's what I'm doing. I remove these three screws up top, and then there's two screws at the bottom, and I took both of these side plates off. There's one on each side. Then from the back side, you can see that there's a clip here and a clip here, and this just pops the climate control into the face plate. So if you just push up on the outside, climate control module will just come right out. Now the new faceplate for the new radio has these pegs on both sides but it does not have the white snap clips so you're gonna have to take those clips off and put them on the new radio. All you need to do is get under the edge of it pull up on it and you can pop those out. Now once you have those clips out all you have to do is slide these back down on the new posts. Let's see do I got that back Yes, and they will pop into place. And if you notice, this has a curved side and a short side, a long side and a short side. The long side is curved a little and those go toward the outside. Just put those on there and push them down, they'll pop into place. 
Now since this climate control module is held in with some of those screws you removed underneath, you can just pop that in and it clips in in the top and then we'll snap the radio over top of this. Alright, we're going to start off the wiring with the accessory package. And this radio comes with a CAN bus module. And what CAN bus is, is a networking protocol for your car, which allows your car to communicate with your radio. And what this is going to allow you to do is, is you're going to be able to use your steering wheel buttons and uh, any other accessories that connect over the CAN bus. Now this module is specific to a Toyota Camry so that everything communicates and works correctly. On your wiring harness is a small connector about the same size as the plug in the uh, CAN bus module and that will just plug right in there. It's the only one that will fit. So that's plugged in. Now we also have a ground wire that we're going to have to connect and that needs to be connected underneath a metal bolt and back here in the back on the top bolts that hold the radio in there's a metal bracket behind that connects to the instrument panel bar and behind which is metal so that's going to ground your radio all right all of these white wires on the other end of this harness connect to your car to the wiring harness coming from your car and those will only connect one way so if you can't get it to go then it probably doesn't belong there all of these should connect up uh, easily to your car wiring harness. Now the other bag that has cables in it has some interesting things in it. One of which is a SIM card connector. And what you can do is you can purchase a SIM card and an extra line on your cell phone plan. Plug that SIM card into here and that allows your stereo to have internet connection, data connection all the time. Now also in here is a 4G antenna and that would be the antenna that you would need to hook up for the cell phone service. And this is a GPS antenna, a Wi-Fi antenna, an external microphone, and spare cables for extra speakers if you have amplifiers, those kind of things um, that you want to hook up to it. Also has a connection for a front camera, in my situation, I do not have a front camera, but if you did, that's where you would hook it up at. And spare cables for extra speakers if you have amplifiers, those kind of things um, that you want to hook up to it. Also has a connection for a front camera. In my situation, I do not have a front camera, but if you did, that's where you would hook it up at. All right, hook a few things up here on the back of the radio. These are your connections for your Wi-Fi and 4G. Now this is your GPS antenna. That snaps into place. The 4G antenna. And then all these other accessory plugs. I'll go back here in the back. And it looks like they will only go one way. So you can't get this wrong. All of these simply snap into place. Now as far as these antennas go, uh, GPS, 4G, I'm simply going to just lay those up on top of the radio because I've never had an issue doing that. These are long enough to run outside of the vehicle and run to maybe your roof or whatever. This has never been an issue for me uh, as far as GPS signal. Um, maybe if I was going to use the SIM card and have a phone connection to the car, then I might use my put the 4G on top. But right now I'm just gonna lay it on top. If it's an issue in the future, then I will move these outside the car where they need to go. Now as far as the external microphone, um, I have had issues with other radios and the microphones. Sometimes I have hooked these up and not used this external microphone because they do have a microphone on the front. Some of them do. I don't know about this one. 
but that microphone has never been enough. You're driving down the road, you're trying to use Siri or whatever, and uh, it doesn't work very well. So hooking up this external microphone is a good thing, and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna plug that in right now, and I'm not gonna run that for this video, but probably what I will do is run that up and stick it to the windshield here somewhere. All right, now that we've got all that taken care of, it's time to wire in the wiring from the car. Now to give me some extra room, I did put this shifter back in neutral. And once again, I made sure I pushed my emergency brake and I also removed the climate control module. And the reason why I did that was to give me more room, more wiring access to wire this in. So once again, these wires will only go one place and they'll only go one way so you can't get this wrong. So you just start plugging it up. And coming out of your car harness, you now have a cable labeled camera and that's gonna go into the connector labeled camera in. And that's gonna hook up your rear camera. Also, coming from the car, we also have auxiliary in left and right. And on the radio itself, we have two connectors labeled auxiliary in left and right. We'll hook those up. Next, we also have a USB cable coming from the car. And then on this accessory harness, we have a USB cable plug. Okay. All right, I think that should be it for mine. Now your setup may be different depending on which car you're using it in. Um, but I have some extra cables here that I'm not gonna be using. I don't have external amplifiers or anything like that or a front camera or a place to plug in a, an extra USB stick. Um, this USB connection right here will connect the original uh, USB connector that's in the pocket uh, in the dash. So I'm just gonna use that. And I think I've got everything hooked up here. I'm gonna stick this back into the dash and then I'll bring you back and we'll um, We'll test this out. Alright, let's turn the key on here. See what we get. All right, very nice. It's booted up. And this is all the Android portion of it. I'm not gonna be going through any of that. Um, all of my stuff will be Apple CarPlay and I'll show you how to connect that here in just a minute. All right, seems to work okay. Radio works. I'm not gonna tune into any stations for uh, copyright issues. And one thing here I wanted to check and make sure is the reverse camera works. So I've got the key turned to the on position and I'm gonna put it in reverse. And there's the backup camera. That does have the lines. These uh, red lines are the lines from the stereo itself. This bluish aqua colored line is uh, encoded into the camera. Now I had this issue on my RAV4 when I put a stereo in it and I was not able to get those to go away. The only way to do that is to completely change your camera and I'm just not gonna do that. These lines will move as you turn your steering wheel to kinda help guide you. That's kinda cool. One other thing, if you turn your climate control on, you get some settings up here for your climate control. So you can't make any adjustments up here but they do show up, anything you adjust, anything you change down here, 
changes up there. And that also goes away after a minute. Next, I wanna check the steering wheel control buttons. This is volume down and volume up. Those do work. And let's see what we got here on mode. All right, everything seems to be working as expected. I'm gonna put this back together and everything just goes back together the opposite way it came apart. So I'm not gonna show you that. Um, one thing is that is different is this climate control module will go in first and then this radio will snap on over top of it. So I'll get that done and I'll bring you back. And one thing I do wanna show while I'm putting this back together is this ground wire. I'm gonna put this bolt in here, ground this ground wire to the dash and this uh, radio does not mount up like the old one does. Uh, there's no bolts that hold it in, it's only the snaps. It's pretty sturdy. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. And there's that ground wire hooked up. Won't need the other bolts. Uh, I'm gonna stick the bolts back in the holes so that we don't lose them in case we have to put this back in some point in time. Okay, everything is put back in. Fit and finish is not bad. There's a few places don't line up exactly right um, but for the most part for an aftermarket uh, radio this is pretty good I've seen some really bad ones before all right let's see how this does with Apple CarPlay okay iPhone here settings and there's the device name DEV BT3855 on the phone I got 3855 I'm gonna press that to connect pairing request I'm gonna pair allow sync to favorite contacts stereo is automatically doing its thing car the phone wants to know if I want to use CarPlay say yes still connecting and there we go let's make sure maps work all right everything seems to be working perfect the last thing on any install is the very gratifying removing of the plastic sheeting it's not complete till you remove the sheet all right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I thank you for watching. I also want to thank Road Envy for providing the stereo for this car. If you wouldn't mind, go down in the bottom section. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, let me know if you install your own stereo from Road Envy and what your experience is. And also hit that like button. Now, after you do all of that, I think the next thing you should do is watch this video. Oh, uh -huh.